lab writer director C. S. Nag with Wake Up India. In today's episode number 20, titled Monkey Business in Delhi, I will talk about how the apes of India have made a mockery of the government's claims of security and law and order for its citizens. Being India's capital, New Delhi is, I suppose, known for its share of monkey business. But politics aside, the capital is virtually under siege by the primates. Over the last 20 years, the private population has doubled from 10,000 to 20,000 in the capital and with it, the threat to people's lives and property. The fear psychosis that has reached manic proportions after Delhi's mayor S.S. Bajwa was killed in a monkey attack at his residence in 2007. Bajwa was sitting reading his morning papers when the apes attacked him in his house and he fell off his balcony and died of head injuries. 25 people were injured when monkeys went on a rampage in Shastri Park after that. And even the Delhi High Court got into the act demanding the city eliminate the marauding monkeys. If you can't control monkeys, what can you do? Was the High Court's ridicule to the government. In 2018, more than 950 cases of monkey attacks were reported in the capital. Even the high profile bungalows where ministers, MPs, judges and other VIPs stay in the capital were not free from the monkey menace. Even Hanuman Seda has turned against Modi's Saffron Brigade was a joke that went around the capital. The issue has even been raised in parliament and guidelines issued by the government to ensure safety of its own party members. When they proved to be inadequate, the government hired a monkey hunter and even a monkey imitator to scare away the monkeys. Then lagoons were used to try and drive them away until the lagoons themselves became a problem. Finally, the Wildlife Institute of India was roped in to relocate the primates to the Asola Bhatti Wildlife Sanctuary at the Delhi Haryana border. The government is reportedly spending up to rupees 2 crores every year for the upkeep of these monkeys. A mass sterilization drive by the Himachal government costing up to 30 crore rupees backfired when the monkeys fled from captivity to neighboring states and became even more aggressive. Clearly, the monkeys have outsmarted the Bodhi Bhats operating in Ram and Hanuman's name. They have reportedly stolen vaccines 
blood samples from hospitals and even toll money from toll nakas and toll booths jewelry from jewelry stores and one intrepid monkey even stole a bag containing rupees 4 lakhs from registry's office in sitapur in up and climbed up a tree and began to rain cash on the passers by below him who were obviously delighted wake up india perhaps it is better that we are served by these monkeys who are part of hanuman sena than by a government that makes false promises to give us 15 lakh rupees and distribute them to the poor from the black body they hope to recover some day in the very distant future ਦੀ ਹੈ ਹਾਏ 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 ਸਾਡੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਉਹ ਮਰਦੀ ਹੈ 